Market registered dietitian and nutritionist Emily Cope is here with us to talk about wheat bread. This is National Wheat Bread Month. Yes, How did I is. miss that? I don't know. I didn't get a card. I didn't get. Sorry. But talk. We're going to talk That's wheat. That's what we're here this for. Yeah. Talking wheat. A little bit of wheat. Everything this morning. Okay. So one of the uh, new recommendations on the dietary guidelines, like we talked about last week, it's not a new recommendation, but we recommend five servings of grains per day, mm -hmm. and half of those should be from whole grains. So whole we're grains, talking about yeah. whole wheat bread today. Whole wheat flour, pasta, so you can get those servings in. And 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 the the latest guidelines that came out kind of said that our consumption of white flour is it's, is, is it's really a little excessive. Yeah. And when we're talking about wheat, wheat has so many more nutrients than white. White really, all the nutrients are actually extracted. There's nothing mm. left. It's mm. really kind of just bare bones. Somebody told me once that eating white bread is kind of like eating a piece of cake. Kind of. I mean, there's really no nutritional value. Right. It's not going to do anything for you. And especially if you're a type 2 diabetic, if you're eating white bread versus wheat bread, mm -hmm. it your body metabolizes it much faster. So you get those increased spikes in blood sugar. So if you're a type 2 diabetic, always going for wheat is always the better option. Are there people who still just, ah, I don't like the wheat? I mean, to me, it's my favorite. I don't have a problem with it, but I, I guess there's some people. I think it's how you grew up. Yeah. I mean, I grew up only on wheat products. So for white, for me, it's like, ah, oh, I don't really like it. I grew up on white bread, and I was have no problem leaving it behind. <laughs> but I think other people might. And that's exactly why I've got these muffins here today. They're made with whole wheat flour. So I just really wanted good. to give everyone the chance to see that you can make delicious things mm -hmm. with these alternative products. And I think these are fantastic. They're light, they're fluffy, but they're made with whole wheat flour and they're made with oat flour, which gives you extra fiber and extra nutrition. Nice. So compared to white, and they're better for diabetics. Okay. And this, uh, I assume, something relatively easy to make. Relatively easy to make. It comes from the American Diabetes Association. It's got 110 calories and about 14 gr grams of carbohydrates for each muffin. Let's talk pasta here for a minute. Pasta. Here. So, yes, again, we're talking white versus wheat. So, white pasta versus wheat pasta. You're going to get more fiber with the wheat pasta, which is actually going to make you fuller longer. So, you don't need to go back for that second helping okay. of white pasta. Wegmans has that fantastic super pasta. Mm -hmm. Barilla has a great product as well. You want to make sure you're reading the nutrition facts label and you want your first ingredient to say whole wheat. Uh, and here we are with the, uh, the wraps. wraps or the, yeah. The okay. same theory. You know, you're making a, even for taco night, making wraps for your kids' lunch boxes, always go for the wheat. It's always going to be the better choice. And, and when you're cooking, I mean, I, you've got some whole wheat flour here. I mean, I, I, do you th is the natural tendency still for, if you're making it at home, to use the white flour? I think it's re really what you have available in your cupboard. Right. So if you're grocery shopping and you're buying whole wheat flour, you're going to use whole wheat flour. So it's making those little changes, having that available to you so you don't naturally use the white. Yeah. And, and, and our, this new guideline that came out, what, what do you take away from that, the new, the new, uh, the new dietary guidelines? Nothing really has changed too much. I think that all grains should be whole grains, yeah. um, which it's so easy to do, especially if you're making little simple swaps like this. I think that white is kind of a thing of the past. It's going away. We know it's not great for us. Yeah. So making the changes to wheat is only going to help us in the long run. I can't even see what you got out here in the corner. These are just to go along with the muffins right. that we made, so the recipe from the American Diabetes Association, it's cranberry almond muffins mm. made with dried cranberries, and we've got our Splenda blend as well, so it's lower in sugar for the diabetics. Very good. When you celebrate as a dietitian National Wheat Month, mm -hmm. what do you, what, you know, what kind of, I mean, do you go to parties? Yeah, we oh, have huge, huge blowout parties. All we nutritionists all share and dietitians our together. favorite whole wheat recipes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great time. I'm giving you, I'm kidding I you, know. of course, but that, it's, there's a month for everything. There is a month for everything. Uh, if people want the recipe for the muffins, where can they get that? They can get them on the American Diabetes Association website, as well as the Good Day Rochester website. Thank you so much, Thank Emily. Thank you so much. And I noticed that you set aside a little muffin. I did, just for, for you to for try. Me. Alexis, uh, I'm Unfortunately, we're all out. <laughs> I'm not pregnant anymore, it's okay. Oh, you can have now? Okay. We have, thank you, Emily. Thank you so much. Weather, traffic, and the local headlines all coming up next. Stay with us.